Yo guys, what's up? Welcome to this new video. In this video I am going to explain everything about Serum, and I personally guarantee that after this video you will be able to make any sound you want. So let's start. Firstly, I will explain the basics about Serum, and then we'll go into some sound designs. Start by setting the preset to init. This is a completely raw sound, with no effects. The first step to creating your sound is selecting your wavetable. There are many different wave shapes with all different sounds. Now underneath the wavetable you can find what I call, the wavetable effects rack. Whatever you change here affects oscillator A, not B. First you have voices. More voices means wider sound. Then you have detune, which makes the sound more full. Then blend, which affects the level of detune versus the level of non-detune voices. You also have pan, which affects if sound plays more on the left or right side. And level which just means loudness of that oscillator. For oscillator B it works the same. But here you can change the wavetable to combine two sounds into one. On the left you can also add noise in a sub. This is pretty self-explanatory. On the right you can see a filter, which is like paramatic EQ. But inside Serum, at the bottom you can see the envelope and LFOs. Envelope 1 is what shapes your whole sound. This is an ADSR design, with attack, hold, delay. Sustain and release. Attack influences how long it takes for the sound to reach maximum volume. Hold is how long that maximum volume stays active. Decay is how long it takes to go from hold to sustain. Sustain is like hold. It's the loudness of the sound at steady rate. Release is how long it takes for the sound to fade out after the note stopped. Now let me explain the LFO. You can see three dots. Trig stands for trigger which means that the LFO resets every new note you press. If you press off, it doesn't reset. Next to this you have the BPM, which connects the sound to the BPM, so it doesn't get out of rhythm. Then you have Anchor, which is to keep the LFOs perfectly in sync with your song. The others aren't really important. Now if press FX at the top you get to this screen, here you can add special effects to your final sound. I won't explain what they do but you can check it out yourself. Now we can look at stuff to take your sound to the next level instead of those basic sounds. Like you see here, if you press and hold envelope 1 or LFO 1, you can link your desired effect to this envelope. This way you can use LFO 1 to get cool sounds. You can see here that if I change the LFO, the filter will change too. If you were really paying attention you could have noticed I skipped some stuff in the wavetable effects rack. That's because these are only for advanced producers. This one affects the wavetable position, and this one affects the warp type. It's not important how they work, but what is important, is how you can use them. I often link LFO1 to these for cool dynamic sounds, like this. Let's start by creating a cool Brooks type bass. Get yourself an init preset. Pick a cool wave table. Make it to octaves lower. Now I'll change some stuff in the wave table effects rack. Now it's time to use the LFO. Let's use it on the wavetable position. We can also use it on the filter.
The bass already sounds cool, but not cool enough, so let's go to the FX. Firstly, let's add some hyperdimension to add some dynamics. Now let's do some distortion to make it thick. There you go, a Brooks bass. Now let's do some basic chords. Get yourself another init preset. First we will start by adding lots of voices. Now well I'll pick a cool wave table. Let's also use oscillator B this time. Also add some white noise. Now let's add a filter. It sounds alright but it's too dull, so you know what to do. Now let's make a pad. Many voices, blend it less harsh than the previous sound because we want softness. Get a Vibi wave table. Add a filter, and root LFO1 to it to get this cool effect. Finally, let's add some effect. Finally, let's make a pluck. A pluck is almost the same as a pad. Get a wave table. FX. Just decrease the hold and increase the release like this. FX. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I'll put a free download link of these presets in the description. See ya!